Hi everyone, it's Sierra, and in this video, I'm going to give you a one-year review of my IKEA PAX closet system. So I do have three other videos on my channel about this closet. So the first one I did all about how I designed the closet on the IKEA website. The second one is my husband and I actually building it and putting it together. And then the third one, I show you how I like organized it and all the like accessories and stuff that I got to include in the closet. So you can go and watch those videos. I'll leave them down below. But this video is going to be a one-year review of the IKEA PAX closet system. And I'm going to share if I still like it. I'll show you the things that I changed and what I really recommend. So let's get into it. Okay, so it seems like the number one question that I got on my other videos was what is the size of my closet? So I just did a quick measurement because I couldn't remember. So it's about give or take a few inches on these measurements, but 10 feet this way and then about five feet this way. So I cover this in my other videos, but something that you might notice that's different about my closet than other people who have the IKEA pack system is that my clothes kind of stick out. And that's because in order to fit this system into my closet, I had to get the like shorter boxes or I don't know <laughs> what these are actually called, but I believe that these are all 13 inches deep. So I have my clothing rods like at the very end so my clothes kind of stick out a little bit. That was the major thing when I was designing my closet that I was worried about because I was worried it would be like claustrophobic and I wouldn't have enough room in here but because I have all of my hanging clothes only on one side of my closet I feel like I have plenty of room and it doesn't bother me at all. So yeah there's like two different depths of the, like the pack system that you can get. So like I said minus 13 inches and then I don't know what the bigger one is, but if you get the bigger one, your clothing rod would go like in the middle of it. So your clothes wouldn't stick out, but mine do. Okay. It is not like the easiest thing to film in here because it's so small, but I wanted to talk about these pants hangers because when I was designing my closet, I really wanted these pull out pants hangers. So there were two types that you could choose from on the Ikea website. The one that I have, and then another one that just was stationary and I just thought it was like the most important thing that I got the kind that pull out which was of course more expensive and I can tell you I never ever ever pull it out so um I really didn't need to spend the extra money on that feature so I don't know maybe that's just me but if you're like wanting to save a little bit of money I don't think that the pull out pants hanger is really necessary also I have like barely any clothes in here right now because one I'm doing laundry too. I am six months pregnant and I have just been ruthless about getting rid of clothes during this pregnancy, which probably is not the best thing to do, but I'm kind of wanting to get like a new wardrobe once I'm a mom anyway. So yeah, anyway, let's move on. Okay, next let's talk about these two like storage areas. So first of all, these curse hangers from Amazon are amazing. I actually just recently purchased another like three pack of them and they're just so great to like hang all of your purses and bags and I really like how I did this cubby to fit like our suitcases because those are always just such a pain to store anywhere and then yeah we just have room to like throw extra bags and stuff like that and then on this side I already showed you I have a suitcase and then you know just like random stuff books it's just great to have extra storage in your closet. Speaking of storage, I had planned to get like cute baskets to put in all of these. I never ended up doing that and honestly I think it's better to just be able to throw stuff up there. Like I have this big bag that doesn't fit over there that's like a box with my wedding dress in it and then I don't even know just like other stuff up here. So yeah I know it's not like the most aesthetic thing but it's really practical for storage. Okay next we'll cover this little accessory area. First of all, I love these necklace hangers. They're so convenient. These are also pull out, but I will say I never ever use that. Um, I can't remember if I had to pay extra for that feature or not, but um, I really love these. I did have all of my earrings and bracelets in this section, and I will tell you, I hate this because when you pull it out, you can't even reach to the stuff in the back. So you have to like 
really put your hand in there and like your hand basically gets stuck in order to get anything back here. So I probably would not recommend this thing. Um, but I do have, you know, just like headbands, hair clips, belts, and then stuff I like don't use as much in the back there. And then these I actually got from Amazon and these are amazing. I will link all of the stuff that I can like from Amazon down below. Um, but yeah, these are really great. It comes with these little hangers that you can attach and then just to, like clip your earrings on so i really recommend those for accessory storage as far as the drawers go i think these are like pretty good size for things like i have underwear i usually have bras in here like i said i'm doing laundry socks you know stuff like that it's okay it's not like the most space but i feel like it works for me and then i also have drawers over here and then in these drawers, I have just like junk in here. And then I actually just cleaned these out because they were overflowing with stuff. I mostly have like pajamas, sweatpants, just like cozy stuff in here. But I will say like if you have a lot of like sweatshirts and stuff, it's kind of hard to like fit a bunch of stuff in there. So I just cleaned those out. But I, I do like having like the drawers in the closet because I don't have a dresser. My husband has a dresser, but I keep all of my stuff in here. Okay, next we can talk about shoe storage. So I went with these like angled trays for shoes and I probably could have fit more if I would have like spaced them like closer together. Um, but I feel like it's really not enough storage. Like you can see, I ended up putting more shoes over here and I kind of wish I just would have gotten these normal shelves. I don't know, I just feel like you can't really fit Fit very many on here um they're okay I have like as you can see about three to four pairs on each shelf just like kind of depending on what they are and then lastly this is something that I recently added I got more of these pull out baskets so before I think I might have only had like I don't know maybe three and I kept this bottom part open to keep like my yoga mat and stuff but i'm gonna find a different place to put that and add these baskets all the way down because they're just so convenient for things that you just never have a place for like i don't know i have some junk in here i have swimsuits hats my heating pad um oh these are like travel organizers and then up there i usually throw like stuff that needs to be donated so yeah i would say one year later i am still really really happy with the ikea pax closet system like i said there's just a couple little things that i would change which i already mentioned most of those things but another one is that i wish i would have left somewhere to put like a laundry basket. I just kind of keep our laundry basket in our bathroom and that works out fine, but it would be nice to be able to fit one in here. And then the other thing is that I wish I would have left space with just um, like little hooks that I could hang like my bathrobes on and stuff like that. So I don't know if either of those things would be important to you, but if they are, just keep that in consideration. And then two tips. Number one is to make sure that you get these. I actually still have some extras from Ikea. This is the name of it. And they're these little white plugs that, let's see, you push them in the holes. Um, I don't know if you can even like tell. Okay now you can really see the difference so like these holes are not plugged and then these ones are and it just looks so much nicer when you have um these so i would recommend getting some of those and then the other thing is we added this trim which i think is called like pvc trim it's like a plastic trim that kind of feels the same as the um materials from Ikea and I just feel like having these extra trim boards like along the top and where each of our little cubby things <laughs> come together just like finishes it off so nicely and it really looks more like built in so we got those at Lowe's so I would recommend doing that and yeah I think that's it for my Ikea closet 
review. I don't know what else I could include. If you have any questions, comment them down below and I will get back to you. But yeah, there's so many different ways that you can design this closet. So I hope that my video was helpful, but I would recommend watching like all the different um, closet tours on YouTube with the IKEA pack system because you will get so many different ideas. And yeah, that's it. If you are not yet subscribed, please subscribe, give this video a thumbs up, all the things. I'll be back very soon with another video. Bye.